What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to go through Victory Road in a speedy way. And yeah, I did say I was gonna go train some Pokemon and um, do some new things and all that stuff, like teach our, new, or teach our Pokemon some new moves and all that stuff, such as Aaliyah at level 56. I taught Aaliyah Thunder because it's going to be needed right here in this whole thing, and then Godzilla, Godzilla right here. You know, it's it's uh, Dragon Rage was doing so good, but I thought about it, and it's like we kind of need Earthquake right here. And then everybody else got some kind of the different thing. Let's see, I think Torpedo learned something new right here. Oh yes, I did teach Torpedo Toxic just for that added effect. And then Sir Razor, I did teach Sir Razor a much more physical attack takedown. Now, it is going to be losing uh, HP, but it's attack, it's through the roof. We do have Swords Dance, so it's going to help us out in the long run right there. Alrighty, so what's going to happen now is, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking on the Pokemon League. Definitely going to take them on. Going to be scary. From here on, you you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to be taking on our first trainer right here, and that is uh, Lorelei. And, well, she's going to be like, welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? Whatever you say, baby. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this. Bring it on. Lorelei wants to fight, and she will be coming out with a Dugong. Yeah, these Pokemon are going to be a little tougher than usual, so we're going to start off with Thunder right here because, well, Thunderbolt, it's a powerful attack, but it's not going to beat it all the way. And, wow, Dugong survives. And this is going to be a tough one right here for Aaliyah, mainly because its defense sucks. It does. It sucks badly. And just like that, critical hit, defeat Dugong. And, well, she's about to use a Cloyster. We're going to have to continue on right here because Cloyster is both an ice and water type Pokemon right here. So let's go Thunder Attack for the win. And there we go, Cloyster. I thought you were all defensive because you got a shell. Maybe I was wrong. And here comes a Slowbro. Now, I could use Sir Razor in this situation, but again, Slowbro is a psychic type Pokemon, so we do not want to risk that right now. So here we go. A nice uh, hit, and here comes a Surf Attack. Slowbro survives, and this Surf Attack is going to hit us pretty hard right now. So let's go right ahead. Thunderbolt for the win. And right now, Aaliyah is hanging on by the hairs of its chinny chin chin. So let's go right ahead, switch out to our good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla. And as you can see, Jinx is a, a psychic and an ice type Pokemon. So I'm going to risk it. I'm going to heal Aaliyah right here because the last Pokemon is going to be the tough one. And well, there we go. Healed it. Here comes an ice punch. This is going to be super effective, mainly because Godzilla is a flying type Pokemon, and just like that, it was a critical hit. Are you serious? All right, let's go with Terramon. Terramon will be using Submission, but here comes that Ice Punch, just like we were worried about. Holy crud. Come on. Yeah, okay, so that was another critical hit. Are you serious? Holy crud. Yeah, we're going to have to revive uh, Godzilla right here. We're going to have to risk it. So let's go right ahead and do that. Uh, nope, we're not going to use those max revives just yet. So let's go back to Godzilla. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe Jinx is like really getting onto us right now. And are you serious? I really do hate double slap. So let's go with a Toxic. And Toxic right here will automatically poison this Pokemon. And Lovely Kiss puts us to sleep, but that Toxic will start hurting the Pokemon more and more. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to use another Max Potion to give Godzilla a little bit of a fighting chance right here. And whatever you do, homeboy, it's not going to work because, well, that Toxic is going to get worse and worse before it even gets better. So there we go. 
So technically we're winning. We're kind of winning. And we're going to try and hit. We're going to try and attack and all that stuff, which is okay. And, well, there goes a thrash attack. It's using its full moveset right here. And so far, the poison is really killing it. So let's go right ahead and use a full restore to good old Torpedo. And there we go. It's back to normal. And it's thrashing about right here. Eventually, it's going to get confused and poison at the same time. And now it's losing so much more. So let's go right ahead. Let's go ahead and just use double team. That way, if it misses, it's going to suffer some more. So we're not really going to hit anything. And it missed. And there we go with more poison. That thrash. Well, you know what? We can use a surf attack right here for the win. And just like that, toxic actually helps us out so thank you Koga and there we go Godzilla gets some points now we're gonna be taking on Lapras right here and Lapras is a tank of a Pokemon we already know this so there we go Lapras Aaliyah thunder attack that doesn't work holy crud oh my god see this is the main reason to why I decided against uh, thunder because it was gonna miss and Wow. Okay, so there it is. It gets hit, and here comes a Confuse Ray. And this one is going to be a little tough to actually fend off, so let's go with the rare, uh, full restore. Chances are we're going to probably be using all our healing items in this whole thing. And, well, that right there does not work, so let's go straight for... Are you serious? So... Wow, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you serious? Good gravy. Freaking Lapras. I mean, I did want a challenge, but good gravy. And here comes a confuse, uh, confusion attack and... Or confuse ray. And yes, here we go. Eat it, Lapras. There we go. Okay, so Lapras has been defeated. And that gives us more points right there. And suck it. How dare you? You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You you only got a taste of Pokemon League power. Yes, we did. Okay. So here's the next challenge. It's probably the easiest one, so we shouldn't worry. So let's see. Let's see. Before we start using a lot more items right here, uh, let's see. We got to revive Terramon. Yeah, this is not a good start to our whole Pokemon League challenge, but it, it is what it is, guys. Okay, so here we go. Terramon is now revived. And we just got to get a max potion in. Man, we... Yeah, we... If we need to win this... If we have to win this, we, we got to be careful with what we use. So let's go straight to Torpedo. And... You know, Ultra Psycho's there in just a sec. Okay, so let's see what this guy has to say. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through vigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Pokemon. Draven. We will grind you to the uh, with our superior power. Hoo ha! Okay, all right, bring it, just bring it. Okay, so here we go, taking on Bruno, and he's coming out with an Onyx, which should be easy for a Torpedo right here. Let's go straight for a Surf Attack, and yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. Surf Attack does its thing. Onyx has been defeated. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Hitmonchan. So this is a time to go with Ultra Psycho and its godly powers in Gen 1 right here. Oh, yes. Level 55? No problem. Now, we just got to be careful with the whole thing that, you know, yes, Ultra Psycho is very frail physically. So we got to get this thing off. And just like that, Hitmonchan has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So he's going to be coming out with Hitmon Lee. And Hitmon Lee is looking a little mean, but guess what? Hitmon Chan or Ultra Psycho getting it, got it, go. Hitmon Lee has been defeated. Oh my god. And here comes an Onyx. So let's go right back to, let's see, where is Torpedo? There she is. Or he, or I don't even know. There's no genders in this one right here. Try not to get messed up. And, well, let's go straight for a Surf Attack. And there we go. Surf attack. Does it sing? And there goes Onyx. Yeah, buddy. Okay. 
And well, let's see, he's about to use a Machamp. Now this is a dangerous Pokemon, mainly because, well, it can survive a psychic attack. It usually takes maybe two, but let's go ahead and see how this fares out. Let's go straight for a psychic attack. And there we go. Look at that, Machamp has been defeated. So our second battle was a little bit more easier than expected. Why? How could I lose? Because... I guess we took on some more basic Pokemon right here. Okay, so the next one is going to be a little more tough than than what we expect. There will be some Ghost-type Pokemon, Poison-type Pokemon, and whatnot. So, here we are, Agatha. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I was taking a lot of interest in you, child. What, or that old Duff was uh, once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Draven, I'll show you a real trainer fights. Oh, wow. She is scary. She is very, very scary. Okay, so here we go, taking on Agatha, and she is going to start out with a Gengar. Now remember, Gengar is not a pure, uh, pure ghost type Pokemon, so it is, it is susceptible to psychic moves such as psychic attack. And well, oh, nearly defeats this guy, and here comes a Mega Drain, and that really doesn't do much. So here we go again, psychic again, and just like that, Sega by the Gengar. Alrighty, okay, and Ging or Ultra Psycho grows level 51, and well, let's see, she's going to be coming out with a Gold Band, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to conserve Ultra Psycho's Psychic Attacks, and we're going to go straight for, you know, more Elemental Shoot, and well, let's go with a Thunder right here, alrighty, alrighty, look at that, and there goes Gold Bat, wow. And, uh, well, look at that, level 57. Now, are you sure that Agatha is a pure ghost-type Pokemon move or trainer? Because, to me, it just feels... It, it just feels like uh, it's more of a poison-type Pokemon. But then again, Generation 1, not a lot of Pokemon typings and all that crud. So let's go with the Psychic Attack. And... Just like that, Haunter has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And, well, she's going to be coming out with an Arbok. So let's go ahead and give Terramon a chance right here. Because Arbok, yes, although it is a little faster than, you know, Terramon. Terramon has got it with Earthquake Attack. And, well, here comes a Gengar. And Earthquake still works on Gengar right here. That is the funny part. There's no Levitate. There's nothing. And just like that, Gengar has been defeated. Oh my god, okay, so let's just continue on with Terramon right here. There is no escaping, let's get it, and here comes a Screech, which doesn't work, so here comes... Yeah, buddy. Okay, look at that. Earthquake attack for the win, and, well, we defeat er or Agatha like that. <laughs> You're something special, child. Okay, you win. I see what that old dove sees in you now. I have nothing to say else to say. Run along now, child. Well, that right there was uh, well, that right there was a little more uh, easier than I expected. So let's see. Let's go ahead and use. Actually, we don't need to use it right now. This next one is going to be a little bit of a gamble. So I'm going to start off with the Leah, and we're going to be going right up here. Whew. Okay. Uh, stretching up my arms, and well, yeah, we're walking automatically, and well, look at that. Now, if you try to go out, nope, there's doors. Okay, so here's the last of the Elite Four. It's Batman himself. Ah, I heard about you, Draven. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know, you know what the, or you know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Draven. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Well, I'm going to say it right here, guys. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? 
Yes, sir, you're ready. I love this song. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're taking on Lance, the Dragon Trainer, and he is coming out with a Gyarados at level 58. This Pokemon is a tank, but here... Oh, crap, Baskets. And, well, thankfully, Leer Attack was the first attack. Come on, Thunder. Here comes Thunder, and... Well, Gyarados is both a flying and water type Pokemon, so this is quadruple damage. For the win, Aaliyah does it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here comes Dragonair. And this is a pure dragon type Pokemon, so we're going to go straight to Torpedo. See what it can do right here. Yes, we have encountered a Dragonair before in the Safari Zone. And again, we're still planning on using, you know, Dragonite or Dragon uh, Dratini in the other versions that I have in Pokemon Journeys HD channel. And, well, here comes a Thunder Wave attack, which usually works for this kind of situation. And here, oh, wow. Wow, it was prepared. Now, remember, Lance does have three types of, uh, three types of Pokemon that, with three elements and all that crud. Yeah. It likes to paralyze you mainly because it wants to, you know, lower your, it wants to lower your HP, or no, it wants to lower your speed. And since we do have the speed advantage right here, holy crud, okay. And let's go with an Ice Beam. Really? Are you serious? Okay, so Dragonair right here is a little more faster than us, but luckily for us, we get off a, an Ice Beam, and there goes Dragonair. Holy crud, alrighty. And he's going to be coming out with another Dragonair now. I'm only assuming this one is a Fire-type one. Nope, it comes out with a Hyper Beam. And Hyper Beam at this... In this generation is one of the strongest moves and wow we survived okay so here we go torpedo we need you man come on and what well, it must recharge thankfully so let's go with a toxic and are you serious oh my god come on let us let us live man come on so there we go a toxic attack that right there will actually help us for the time being. It needs to recharge one more time. So let's go with an Ice Beam. And yes, you are poisoned. Let's go. Ice Beam attack for the win. And... Nearly beats him. Holy crud. Okay. Let's go with a double team. Yes, it's using Hyper Potion, which is okay with me. There we go. And we're going to get off a double team attack. That way we are... Yeah, that way nothing hits us. So let's go ahead and do it again. Yes, you're going to be poisoned. So even if it wraps us and stuff, it's going to be very, very hard to get off that uh, that poison unless he uses, like, uh, I don't know, a full restore, which he probably does have. But as you can see, bam, we're getting hit with Hyper, po or hyper, uh, hyper Beam. And the more it does it, there we go. You see, this is the reason why I kept these kind of these types of moves. So let's go ahead and... Actually, it needs to recharge. So let's go with an Ice Beam. And yes, you are getting poisoned. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Torpedo. Yes. Going off of what it's named after. Torpedo and look at that. Level 51. And he's going to be coming out with an Aerodactyl. So I am not going to waste this. And we're going we're gonna to use a Max Potion right here. Right now, Torpedo has the edge mainly because it has evasion, so it probably won't get hit. And the wing attack does hit uh, hit us right here. Now, Aerodactyl, as you remember, is a ro uh, is a water or is a rock and flying type Pokemon. And look at that, it missed. Okay, alrighty, level 60 Aerodactyl, how you doing? Say goodbye, and that was super effective. Torpedo kicking butt, taking names. And here comes the tank Pokemon itself, Dragonite. This Pokemon right here is one of the toughest Pokemon you'll ever have to take on. But luckily for us, we got Toxic. It's our evasions right there. Yes, sir. We're going to beat this guy the way we can. So let's go one more double team. Yeah, you cannot hit me, man. And that Thunder Attack is not going to hit us anytime soon. So here comes that uh, Poison. And again... Shout out to Koga for helping us with that. And there we go. Ice Beam. Beats Dragonite. Throwing out that peace sign. Torpedo is the MVP of this one battle right here. Holy crud. And it is trying to learn Hydro Pump. Okay, so this is a very, very strong move. Unfortunately, 
We already have a water type move, and I do not want to mess with this move set, so we're just gonna keep it as is. And just like that, we defeated Lance. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you're a Pokemon League Master. Are we? I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Draven. You are now the Pokemon League Champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenger ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Gary. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League Champion. Well, that right there is annoying because, well, as many of you guys already know, Gary is our rival and he has been a thorn on our side ever since the day we met him. So, today is the day where we actually finally beat this guy. So, what is going to happen right here is we're going to go straight to Torpedo itself again. And, well, <sighs> doing my stretches. Maximum effort. Let's go. So, here's Gary. He's like, hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, uh, Draven. My rebel should, keep, it should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on the Pokedex, I looked all over for a powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Draven, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful Pokemon trainer in the world. Wow, this guy has a high opinion of himself. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're taking on Gary himself, and he's going to be coming out with his Sand Slash. And most of his Pokemon are at level 60. This is the challenge that I've been waiting for. And... You know, I have no doubt in my mind that we can actually beat this guy. And just like that, we are hitting him with a Surf Attack, and there goes his Sand Slash. Look at that, okay. And, well, let's see, he's going to be coming out with an Alakazam, which, for me, truthfully, it's his strongest Pokemon. So let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla. And remember, we hit this Pokemon physically. It's all over. And, well, let's go with a Fly, and here comes a Kinesis, which doesn't really work out. And Psybeam wants to hit us, but here comes a Fly Attack. And it takes more than half its HP. Here comes a Psybeam Attack, which could beat us right here. And nope, it doesn't. And Psybeam again. And there we go. Fly Attack for the win. How does it feel to fail? Look at that. And here he's going to be coming out with an Executor. So we're going to stay put with Godzilla, Godzilla. Let's go, flamethrower attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't like how, how it's getting its butt kicked. And here goes a barrage attack. And it is a multiple hit attack right here. Not really hurting as bad. Three times, so here we go. Flamethrower again for the win. Look at that, okay, alrighty. Type advantages, guys, you guys gotta have that. And well, here comes a cloister. No biggie, let's go to Aaliyah right here on Dragon Ball Z. And well, Aaliyah looking like a looking like a tank herself and wow, are you serious? Okay, that spike cannon is going to be Yeah, it's going to it's going to hit us pretty good. 22 points. Holy crud. Okay. All right, so three times. Come on, Thunder. You see, again, the reason why I don't like using Thunder or like putting Thunder on my Pokémon because it's uh yeah, it's that. And here comes an Ice Beam. This is the end of Aaliyah. Holy crud. Okay, so this is not cool. Let's go back to Torpedo. And let's go with a Toxic Attack right here. Doesn't affect it. Holy crud. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I can't do this to I can't have this with Aaliyah, so let's go with the Max Revive. Mainly because, you know, this is Aaliyah's Pokemon to beat. And, well, here's more Spike Cannons. And, yeah. Again, I gotta have a win for Aaliyah, and come on! Three times, okay, so, you know what, screw it. Surf a deck, for the win. Could have beaten it right there and then, but Aaliyah will get revenge. Let's go. Come on. And there we go. More points for all of us. And, well, here comes a Ninetales. I'm going to continue on with Torpedo. Torpedo has been just kicking butter on everybody. 
Let's go, surf attack, and well, are you serious? You're gonna do a tail whip attack? What, what the hell is the matter with you, Gary? You could have beaten me right there and then. And there we go, surf attack. Hits it, critical hit, there we go, okay. And well, Torpedo grows to level 53. Torpedo has been the MVP right here. And here comes his final Pokemon, Jolteon. So let's go straight to Terramon right here. And it is at level 65, the most powerful Pokemon that we'll face right here. Let's go. And yes, yeah, so that pin missile attack is not going to do much, especially to tank or to a Terramon right here. And well, look at that. Pin missile hitting us with all five attacks right here. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Here comes the earthquake attack. This is what we've been waiting for, guys. To beat Gary with Jolteon at level 65. Throwing out my middle fingers at you. I am throwing them out. Look at you, Gary. No! That can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become League Champ? My reign is over already? It's not fair! Yeah, it's kind of fair. Why? Why did I lose? I never made mis any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. I'm throwing out the middle finger, guys. And here comes Professor Oak, happy as can be because we beat his ungrateful uh, nephew. So, you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since uh, you first left the uh, left with Pikachu. Draven, you have come of age. Gary, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard the, you beat the Elite Four. But when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? Because he sucks. You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become champion again. That is true. He never does. Draven, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond that you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Draven, come with me. Okay, alrighty. Flipping you off, Gary. Flipping you off. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Congratulations, Draven. This floor is the Hall of Pokemon Hall of Fame. The Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Draven, you endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Draven. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so look at that. The MVP of the Pokemon League, Torpedo. Man, I cannot wait to use you <laughs> in different walkthroughs. And well, Sir Razor has finally become a Pokemon League champion. Yes, that is a uh, that is something else that we've done. Ultra Psycho, kicking some butt, taking some names, doing everything for the bitches. That's right. And then here we have Terramon. Man, I, I'm so glad that you know I restarted. Man, <laughs> Terramon was a and Aaliyah. She's happy. She is happy as can be. And yes, look at this. Godzilla, Godzilla, Hall of Famer as always. Man. Okay, and yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. Kicking some butt, taking some names, throwing out that peace sign, flipping off Gary. Oh, this is getting even better. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. So we've made it here before. And I'll definitely be doing it again. I don't know. Sometime soon. Because I always go back to Pokemon Yellow. Because it's one of my favorite games. It is definitely something that, you know... Is definitely something nostalgic. And I, I cannot believe that, you know, we've... You know, done things the right way again. So, here are the plans, guys. Uh, we will be continuing Pokemon Yellow. We need to get the legendary Pokemon. Including the glitch Pokemon itself. Which is Mew. Uh, and then we will be finishing it up with quite possibly the Pokemon uh, with Professor Oak Battle, if I can get it off and running. But, after this, I will be doing Pokemon Crystal, and uh, there will be another walkthrough alongside the alongside Pokemon Crystal. Uh, as for Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2, that is going to have to wait for just a tad bit because, well, you know, I still need to get off some of the, the original Pokemon in both versions and all that stuff, so just be aware of that. When I start Pokemon Crystal, there will be another Pokemon walkthrough for the weekends because I know many of you guys want uh, more content on here. And trust me, it is going to be a new Pokemon walkthrough, not one that you have actually seen here before. 
Uh, as for my Pokemon Journeys HD channel, yes, I will be starting that thing up uh, sometime soon. That way you guys can have episodes and then start seeing teams here and there. Um, other than that, guys, I really don't have anything else to say except thank you. Thank you for being supportive and everything. I will see you guys in the next episode.